You must be the window washer. Well, good thing, because I was feeling dirty. I am here to discuss a lost necklace. So, you're a window washer jeweler? No. Wow, this took a turn, didn't it? Well, I haven't seen your necklace. What's it made of pearls, by chance? It's actually a rod. Unbreakable. Very special. Time to see the family jewels. What? No, no, no. You, you, you're not going to find my necklace down there. The man who killed Aiden Scott has it. What? Aiden's dead? Aiden was such a good guy. He accepted everyone, you know? I can't think of anyone who'd want to hurt him. Even the people he fought respected him. He lost a lot. But he'd never quit. Aiden actually thought he could win the fight he had coming up, though, which is why he was so pissed when someone asked him to throw it. Someone asked him to throw that fight, but he refused? For a ton of money, yeah. But he didn't care. He just wanted to win. Fair and square. Whoever tried to bribe Aiden to throw that fight must have been pretty angry when temptation didn't sway him. Or maybe the tempter killed him in frustration and then took my necklace. You have any idea who approached him? No. I mean, the fight was supposed to be tomorrow at Rico's in Hollywood. Maybe someone there would know. Everyone's real torn up about Aiden. Like family here. So, uh, you were close to them too? <laughs> Scrawny little thing when I started training him. But, one dedicated son of a bee. Nothing to stop that guy. Well, almost nothing. Uh, do you know if Aiden ran the same route every day? I think so. Why? Well, because if somebody wanted to kill him, 